Hello beautiful souls. Hello Capricorns. I hope you're doing amazing. This is going to be your <clears throat> love reading for July. So let's see what your energy is for July. First we're going to start with these cards. Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn for the beginning of July when it comes to love? Spirit, what would you like Capricorn to know for the beginning of July when it comes to love? We start off with the second chakra, which is actually really good, okay? Um, this is the sacral chakra. This is about your emotional state. So I feel like you're emotionally into something, Capricorn, okay? But there's still some trouble. The person you're dealing with still has some attachments, or you could have attachments to something old that you still need to let go of, okay? But I feel like you get more clarity. And I feel like it's so interesting because i that's all that you want to know. It's like, I just need more clarity about where I'm going, what's happening, um, am I moving along? And I feel like you're going to get that clarity. I do feel like, too, um, you're desirable at the beginning of July. But it's interesting because the end of June going into July, you're still desirable to others, okay? And I feel like you're more expressive in the way that you do things or in the way that you are being you. And that's attracting other people and possibly the person that you want to be with. But I still feel like there's, there still needs to be more openness to the person that you're dealing with they're still not as open as they should be okay yeah i feel like a lot of people are talking to you you're talking and you're expressing your feelings and that's just bringing people in so capricorn you being you is bringing people into your space okay the person that you're dealing with or the people around you just have a lot of passion for you they're gunning for you okay um yeah, I do feel like you do get some clarity, you get some understanding, you get some sort of conversation, and it's still something you have to work for. I feel like things are unfolding still. You haven't quite gotten where you officially want to be, okay? But things are unfolding, so that's that's good too, okay? So let's see what the cards have for you. Actually, I'm going to do this. Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn for the beginning of July in love? Capricorn, first half of July in love. I'm going to do these in all upright, but when I clarify, I'll let reversals come out, okay? Yeah, you have love in your midst, okay? Whether this is the person you want to deal with or not, I just feel like you have love all around you, Capricorn. You really, really do. Everybody sees an opportunity with you. There's an opportunity for you to be happy. It might not be exactly the thing that you want though, okay? But there's definitely some opportunities there. I feel like the thing that you want the most is still in hiding, okay? It hasn't quite fully come out yet. There's a little bit of expression, but I feel like um, it hasn't fully come out. The bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But what's interesting is I feel like uh, somebody you're dealing with sees that there is a future with you, okay? They see that there's something solid and reliable, but they have to make that decision to accept and to walk into that energy. And it, it honestly, it's really up to them to do that. So unfortunately, you're waiting on them to make that choice or to open up to them or to open up to that opportunity. What's interesting, Capricorn, is I feel like you're open up to love. You're open up to the possibilities, which is really good, okay? But you're still, the situation is still being analyzed. Like it's not quite done. You're still watching. They're still watching that type of thing, okay? I do feel like the person that you're dealing with or that you're thinking about is thinking about you and they miss you. They just have a lot of troubles, whether this is something that's going on in their life with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? They're trying to get themselves together, but I almost feel like you're on their mind too, and their goal is to get to you in, in some way. But they just have a lot of underlying things that they need to deal with, right? 
Yeah, they're trying to gain up their confidence. They're confident. They see you. You're beautiful to them. They like you a lot. Okay. It's so interesting because even though this Eight of Cups is here and it talks about walking away, I feel like uh, there's still distance in between you two. Okay. There's still distance. But it still feels connected to me because of the seven of pentacles being here, which means that things are still being worked on. Things are still being figured out. You know, people are still trying to determine what the outcome is going to be. I feel like there's slow and steady progress. This is more of an investment, which you have worth waiting for up here. It's more of an investment for right now. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely coming into this month feeling regenerated. Um, whether this is something you find out about your love life or it's just other people are just really excited about you. Capricorn, I feel like you have different options. If you wanted them, you do have different options, okay? But I, I just don't feel like you want them. You have something specific in mind, especially with the Sun card in reverse. Because you feel like what it is that you want, you're disoriented or separated from. Yeah, you see all the potential, but you're not sure that it's going to get there, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to figure out what to do next, but I feel like it's out of your hands and you really shouldn't be trying to do that, okay? You're very, very focused on this person, though, or what's going on. Um, I also see for some of you, somebody with some really strong fire energy was really, really into you. Not that they're not anymore, but there's a sense of being disoriented by them coming in to you or somebody approaching you. You're not quite sure for some of you. Yeah, this person feels like they're gonna lose you and they're just trying to balance the scales, whoever this is, okay? They don't feel like they're winning. Uh, this could be another Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. They feel like they're not winning. It's kind of like they feel as though it's easier to not fight for it. But they see you. This is very interesting. It's almost like they feel you pushing away, but they've made the decision to work on themselves but they don't want to leave you either spirit why is this eight of cups here yeah there's like this brief energy of walking away to deal with things to deal with things that need to be dealt with in their own life because things are being revealed to them. It's like the more that they open up to you, more things are being revealed to them that they need to fix. That they don't quite have everything together like they thought they did. Because I feel like this person, if they want to invest, they want to invest the right way. They don't want to come into this thing that they feel is going to be solid. And then not be able to play their part, if you will. So they're distracted by that. That's what stops them. That's what makes them hesitate. Yeah, they're trying to uh, juggle their priorities and that's what's causing them to have delays in this relationship growing, okay? So you end with the moon card. The moon card is just... See, it, it's like you're getting where you wanna go. Someone really cares about you and they see you as someone important to them but the devil energy is still here and that's what keeps them distant from you still okay Yeah, you got a lot of things coming to you. A lot of people trying to get on your good side, Capricorn. You could be bringing in money. Um, it's interesting because you're building so many foundations to have success.
okay? The person that you're dealing with is trying to learn how to start things over again, uh, but they need to find balance. The thing that's holding you back is fear. Fear about expressing themselves, fear of making things official, fear of going in. So it's almost like, mm, I get this weird feeling like it's official because they know what they want. They know the direction, but the action and the balance to get that to happen isn't quite there yet. That is not what I wanted to see for you all, but that is what's here. So thank you so much, Capricorn. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your video will be out Tuesday, which is tomorrow. If you need a private reading, link's in the description box below. Or you can go to that website right up there, and I'll be more than happy to help you. I love you so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Virgo. This is going to be your love reading for the first half of July. I hope you're doing amazing. And I let's see what spirit has for you. Remember, energy is fluid, so um, it goes vice. It can go vice versa, up, down, left, right. Okay. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. So, spirit, what do you have for Virgo for the beginning of July? Spirit, what do you have for Virgo for the beginning of July? We have the world card. We have smudging ceremony. And spirit of fire. Okay, so Virgo, here's the dilly. <laughs> you tried something again. Okay, I feel like at the end of Jul the end of June, you tried to see where it was gonna go. I feel like you gave it its o open opportunity in your life again, and that's you just trying to be fair and balanced and help, like to look at things from both sides. Okay. But you had to put an end to it. Maybe a way of life, a way of doing things. Someone that you were dealing with. It just has to come to an end and you have to start a new cycle. So you're going to spend the beginning of July clearing out things that you don't need. Situations that you don't need. People you don't need um, in your life. And you're very, very fired up okay about where it is that you want to go something has sparked your interest this could be a hobby this could be a person because this is a love reading that has sparked your interest okay so we have pay attention to the ray of flags that's what you're ending you're ending something that wasn't good for you it's time to let that go now a way of life a situation you have to let it go okay the thing is, you're clearing out things into your life so you can bring in the person that you want to marry or the person that you can see yourself being with. I do feel like, Virgo, that there's someone that has caught your eye for some of you, okay? And you look at this person in a different way. It's almost like you're like, whoa, huh, interesting <laughs> to that person. And now... Um, you have that fire or that spit fire because that's what I see. I don't see spirit of fire. I see spit fire. So um, you get this drive or this push to be connected to this person or to learn more about this person. And you're doing what you have to do to call them in. Okay. It's like someone has just triggered your interest, Virgo, especially after ending something or deciding that you're going to do things differently in your love life okay okay so spirit what do you have for virgo 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 for the beginning of july spirit what do you have for virgo for the beginning of july Yeah, two nines, you're definitely putting an end to something. That's the first thing that I paid attention to. So you're, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. Um, not even that, just kind of working on your education, maybe going to school, working on your career, focused on your home, getting things together with you so you can feel secure and happy and just... I feel like that you had to do a lot of that maybe to clear out an old relationship that really did a number on you or something of that nature. But I just feel like you've been spending some time with yourself, right? And now you're like, oh, I want to be happy. I want something that makes me happy. 
Um, I want to be content. I'm looking for that emotional happiness now since I have, you know, my life is in order or I feel like that part is at least on a trajectory that I like, okay? Yeah, and I feel like in July, you, or the beginning of July, you want to open yourself up to nurture something. You feel safe enough to do that. It's almost like your intuition is driving you towards someone. Towards someone's energy. Wow. Towards someone's energy. Because with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something that did not fulfill you. Um, you could have tried it again. But I feel like you gave it an ample enough amount of time with the eight to see where it was going to go. And you decided to walk away or to leave that thing behind, right? So now you have this new passion beyond yourself. But what's interesting, Virgo, is you're doing this for you. You know, even though you have this passion for someone, you feel like they could be a asset to your life. Uh, like they could add something to your life and that's that's a very interesting feeling but I do feel like you've been some of you have definitely been watching someone and you're just like seeing them in a different light wanting to get to know them better they seem like a dream come true to you or someone that is comfortable and you're like, this is the thing that I'm looking for to make it fair in my love life. Because you've been in a situation that wasn't fair, which is why the justice is here, okay? To make things feel more fair or to be in a more balanced relationship. So it looks like your intuition, mm, your intuition is kicking in about some about this person. And at the same time, you're trying to change your mindset because you've been so content by yourself. But I also feel like you have to convince this person a little bit. Like they're not quite sure. But there's something about them, about their energy that is a happy enhancement to your energy like they're fair or balanced or good and you like that whatever it is it's leading to a two of cups you're starting to see that you and this person have a lot of things in common yeah you definitely got clear on something you needed to walk away from uh, there could have been a third party situation or some foolery, some tomfoolery, okay? <laughs> so now you're thinking about your future and moving forward. You was what you were waiting on this person possibly, or maybe you both leave at a distance or they're trying to come and see you. Yeah, even though you were working on yourself and you were content and happy with that, you were realizing that you're missing that connection with others. You know, kind of like you're being separated from love. And like I said, you had the idea or the inspiration to to bring something into your life. It's almost like the universe was like, they wanted you to bring something into your life. It didn't necessarily have to be love. It could have been a project or anything could have triggered you. It just so happened that it is love. So it was in your energy, you know, Virgo. And then it just happened that this is the thing that triggered that Ace of Wands. Okay? So whatever it is that you thought it was, whatever it is that you thought you maybe felt like you needed to restart something or look back over something, something's going to distract you from that. Okay? And this is the real thing that that energy was pushing you towards all along. Okay? Ace of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry. The Nine of Cups. It's almost like this person isn't sure. There's an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles. This may have something to do with a work situation. 
you may be starting a new job or going to a new job uh just for money i don't feel like it's like your favorite job <laughs> whatever it is um you may need to train somebody and you're not really happy about it but there's some aspect that you're doing the job because you have to do it and then you see this opportunity and you're like wait a minute something's different about this person or this person is not what i expected them to be so because that energy is there, it allows you to open up to see a situation or a perfect per person differently, Virgo. Um, this person could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that was very manipulative to them and kept them stuck. And they just want fairness when it comes to relationships, okay? So your intuition is driving you closer to this person. So I feel like you're gaining a bond, but it isn't quite there because you're still watching each other. You're trying to see what this person is about. I feel like something changes your mind. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to, you're trying to change a person's mind. Or this could be vice versa. Um, they may turn you down or say something that possibly hurts your feelings. And I feel like it's because they're trying to gain control or be in some sort of control before they give themselves over to whatever this is. It, it looks like they are like aggressive or hostile, but it's not. They're just protecting themselves. So take your time in gaining this person's confidence. Yeah, they have fear of rejection or this not being true. It's almost like they don't, not that they don't trust you. They just want to be sure what it is that you're asking. Or what it is that you want from them. But I see it ending in the future. In the far future. <laughs> the two of cups. There's going to be some sort of communication between you two. Maybe a text message or something. Some sort of honest and truthful communication. That gets you to see. That this person does really care. Or there is a connection here. It's just their ego and fear um, or obsession with like being hurt or controlling their emotions has been holding them back. So that's something you're going to have to deal with. But um, keep communication open. This is one of those things where you, you Virgo, you have to uh, really be not quit on this if it's something that you want. I feel like you got to break through a barrier or something with this person or vice versa. This could be them trying to break through a barrier for you. Okay, so let's see what we got. Wisdom. Yeah, Virgo, you have to be able to see through it. The other thing that they're telling me about this card is relationships are um, about balance and compromise. And I feel like you're learning how to do that. It's kind of like being able to open yourself up to something new. And when it doesn't go your way to not officially be like, cut it off. You know, it's about dedication and building foundations and hard work on this one. Okay. For them, um, they just need to see that you are for real. They need to see that you're trying to actually lead this to a positive place and not a negative place. This is the other person. They need to be open to the possibilities of abundance. And what's going to help you both or where you're going, you're learning how to trust. You're learning how to... Either you or them have been in a bubble, kind of a protection bubble. And in order to 
find what you want, which is a connection or to uh, inspire this new energy that you feel, this spark, this spark of fire, this spitfire energy. <laughs> you have to come out of this bubble and feel safe enough, right? It's like the universe has nurtured you for some time and you've been doing well, but now it's come. It's time to come out and be seen, okay? So Virgo, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. If you need a private reading, link's in the description box below or you can go to this little website right up here at the top. Please like, share, and subscribe and your reading will be out tomorrow. So don't forget to look for your general. I love you. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Taurus. This is going to be your love reading for the beginning of July. Remember, this is energy. Energy goes left, right, back, and forth. It could be you or the other person, so keep that in mind. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for the beginning of July? Spirit, what would you like for Taurus to know for the beginning of July? Oh, 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 Taurus. Okay. Mm, somebody is of interest to you, Taurus. Okay. Um, this is what's interesting. I feel like you were really into someone. Okay. You felt like uh, love was at your door. You were feeling really good. Uh, you were in a good relationship or the start of one. You both were expressing to each other and things were moving forward. But for some reason in July, I feel like you're learning how to let it go or to move away from whatever this is. Um, it's almost like you see that it's not going to work or something is a little off, okay? So you spend most of July trying to release this energy, right? Um, what's interesting is I feel like you thought this person was going to be the one. Or that this was the one for you. But when it comes down to it, Taurus, you really want to find the one for you. You're not going to attach it to a specific person. I feel like you're just looking for the person that's for you. Okay? Uh, I do feel like someone has caught your eye um, while you're... It's like you have another focus or someone to look at, kind of, um, while you're clearing out this old person or old energy. Yeah. You're deciding to really put an end to that. I feel like they're telling me you don't want to get stuck in any issue like before, okay? Where you were really trying to make something work or putting all this effort and dedication into something because you know that you deserve someone who wants to be with you wholeheartedly, no questions asked, and also uh, someone that just fits you in the way that you need to be fitted. <laughs> Okay, so Taurus, I will be doing these cards and I'll upright, but when I clarify, I'll be happy to use reversals, okay? So Spirit, what do you have for Taurus in love, the beginning of July? Taurus in love, beginning of July. Yeah, you're coming into July, Taurus, and your love life with the energy of moving forward. That's the fastest car in the deck, as you know, the chariot. Yeah, you definitely are dedicated to, to something and moving forward. I feel like you're reevaluating your direction. Yeah, you're reevaluating a direction that you thought you had chosen. You had chosen this direction even though there were issues. And that's falling apart. It's giving you something to think about. You may be dealing with a Virgo. 
or cancer, but it's giving you something to think about. You're thinking about your direction in love. And is it, it's this energy of, is it more important to have a direction and a focus on someone specifically or to be more focused on the feeling and the type of relationship you want to achieve? That's where you are. So you're all about nurturing your future and getting out of conflict, making the changes in your life that you want. You don't wanna fight. You wanna feel confident in what it is that you go into, Taurus. You don't wanna have any questions. You don't wanna feel like you're giving away your power. You don't wanna feel like you're sacrificing. Okay? So you're feeling the need to separate from whatever this is. Yet, you're doing it for yourself. You're healing from a separation because you feel like there's going to be issues to growing the relationship. I'm hearing someone is distracting you. For some of you, I feel like there's something for you to look at or something for you to ponder. I don't feel like you're trying to walk into anything, but it's kind of like something that grabs your attention for the moment. So someone says that, ooh, someone is giving a love offer. Either you're giving a love offer to someone or opening yourself up to someone or they are to you. It's like you're letting a truth be known or someone is letting a truth be known to you. Yeah. It's something that was a secret. It's something that was a secret and it was well thought out before it happened. The person that you're dealing with is trying to revive this. They're trying to revive something that I feel like you have already seen that it's dead and over. They know it too, though, and that's the thing, Taurus. They know it is. But it's like they're a glutton for punishment and they want to keep coming back in here. They want to keep trying to start this cycle even though it just doesn't end right. Because they feel a connection or they feel like you're the one. They're still going to keep trying to put in work, okay? But the thing is, you're not making them feel special anymore because you don't see a future. And it's like they need to pay attention to that, but they're not seeing that for right now. They're just not seeing it because it's what they want. They feel like you cheated them. They're trying to find a new way to get into you um, or to get you to see them or to get you to make that reestablishment of trying to invest in them again but they don't know how to get go about doing that so they may be being over excessive in their feelings or emotions or the things they say because this is all they know Taurus all they know is to to get you out of rest and to get you back into this relationship is to use cunning ways to do so okay so they may be trying to shower you with affections after you've decided to end this or you with someone else but i feel like in your future there's a lot of communication it doesn't feel like it's really going anywhere though um you're redefining your direction and what it is that you want. But I feel like there's a lot of communication. A lot of expressing yourselves about what it is that you need to be happy and what it is that you want. Because you feel like that was a missed. That was missed in the relationship. They put a lot of maybe emotional distress on you and your intuition is telling you that you needed to back out or reevaluate 
and maybe focus more on yourself because they were taking too much of that energy from you. Yeah, so I feel like you've been in a, through a lot with this person. I don't think you fully have cut them off, but you need some time to be alone and to heal and figure out what it is that you want. And this person needs to understand that by pushing you or by saying things to get you to drown in your emotions in other way and otherwise, other words, they're trying to get you to drown in feeling so you kind of come crawling back to them, that that's not going to work. That's not the way to move forward. Yeah, both of you have to decide what path you're going to choose. Are you going to choose to go together or are you going to choose to go apart? But you have to figure out where you're going to go. Um, the key here, Taurus, is to not stay in a limbo with your emotions, with your feelings. Or what direction you want to go into, okay? So, Taurus, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Um, I love you very much. Please check out your general reading. It will be out tomorrow. If you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link is in the description box below, or you can go to this website up here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful souls. This is going to be a collective love reading for the first half of July. So if your individual sign did not resonate with you and you have looked at your moon energy or rising because that will help you as well. You can also try your Venus. Sometimes that works for me as well um, because we can be in either energies. Try that. And then this is the collective for anyone that that didn't resonate with. So this is like the overspill, okay? <laughs> so Spirit, what do you have for everyone who did not resonate with their reading? Okay. They want me to take that too, all right? So... So what I'm seeing here is it's time for you to take a rest. So I feel like you've cut things off for your own self to gain your own perspective of what's going on in your life. It's like you're connecting with the universe or you're connecting to spirit. You're connecting to yourself because whoever it is that you were dealing with or whatever it was that you were dealing with is taking a lot of energy out from you. So it's time for you to focus on yourself or get that energy focus back on you okay you're going to definitely be focusing more on your finances or your career because you've been having issues with that getting that in order building foundations there definitely in july um some of you are going to have a shock that happens um so this is like money issues that you need to correct or a surprise bill something like that uh, surprise money issues or something that you have to pay um, but the beginning of July is going to be mostly about you focusing on yourself or getting yourself together and less about focusing on love okay yeah so you're definitely finding new love with yourself this could be someone new coming into your life as well but I feel like you're like listen Maybe we can put this on hold so I can focus on myself and do what it is that I need to do for me. Um, I, I am getting a message that some of you uh, will eventually open up to this person or um, be open to the possibility. And I feel like you're either going to talk to friends or family about the situation to kind of help you open up and start building some new foundations you know like you can't always just focus on work for some of you you're really focusing on work because you don't want to deal with love or what's going to come if someone new is in your atmosphere uh in your environment <laughs> um 
But yeah, you're you're hoping that while you're dealing with your life or getting things in order that the person will wait on you while you're doing that. And they're telling me that for a lot of you, this is the other person talking to you. So let's see. Yeah, someone's really trapped in their head about the idea of love. It makes them feel like they won't have freedom or they can't do the things that they need to get done by having a partner with them. So they so feeling the need to separate. And this other person is like, how can you not see that I'll be here for you? I just want to make you happy. I just want to be here for you. I just want to make you happy. I just want to spend time with you. But this person that's stuck in their head is like, listen, I have to focus on myself. I have to get my coins up. I have to make my money right. I have to finish school. I have to do all of these things that I have set to my mind to do. I feel like they want to dip into your emotional pool and then step out when they're ready. But I see that they still have hope and faith that you'll wait on them, that things will change, that things will be different. But you're very, very happy with this person and you're like, oh, they're building themselves or they're, they're doing all these things so we can be together. Because I feel like you may spend time with this person, but they're going to be really in their head. Or this could be vice versa. You definitely have hope in the fact that they have hope or that they see a future. Spirit is definitely involved in this and trying to change a situation. I do feel like a family member or someone that they know, someone that's a confidant to them is really going to help them or give them advice so they can be able to make a choice and move forward. But I see moving into this, they really miss... Mm, Something happened. There was a money situation or a, a schooling situation or a work situation that they had to focus on. And that took all of their energy. And it's interesting because I feel like they have taken care of it. But they're still trapped in the mindset of, well, what if something else happens? What if something else uh, interferes? What am I going to do then? I should just stay to myself. That means that I'm not ready. I'm not secure. I, I'm not. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. Because in the past, they've seen, they've seen what they've seen. And what I mean by that is they know that you care. They know that there's a connection there. They're not foolish. They see, they understand. There's compassion here for both of you. But they feel like it's risky and they're not strong enough to handle it. Which is why they retreated back into their own lives to fix quote unquote things. Yeah, focusing on career. They may be trying to stay friends with you because I feel like they want that division and they want to be in control. So that's what they decided to do. This person has this idea. It could be you, honestly, because I feel like this is the other person talking to you. But they feel... Um, you. This person feels like they should just take it slow. And there's still potential here, even though they're not using their power to create it. And they're still happy with the, the idea that that's a thing that could happen. Yeah, they're sitting in a lie right now. Because it's like, it's this fear of if I start this, if I start this new thing, if I learn this new direction, it's going to take away from what it is that I'm doing or it's going to take away from me instead of them having the mindset that it's going to help them they don't think that they can prioritize or balance both things love and their life yeah whoever is giving them advice is trying to tell them to move forward or to keep going and to not be scared 
this person right here is really wanting to move forward they don't even have a direction all they know is that there's problems getting to what they want and they need to heal it and they want to do that This person has this person up here has this hope, right? That if I just continue to build myself and nurture myself, eventually I'll be able to make the decision and I won't be going into it blindsided. But I just have to wait until the right time. Please I hope this person doesn't leave me until I make that decision. This person, this person knows that this is a hard route that they're in. This is a hard situation that they're in. They're not getting the communication that they want. They're starting to reconsider their judgments here. Perceiving that this is a bad choice and needing to move on with their life because there's other people that are attracted to them or want to be around them, you know? So I see eventually someone's going to make a decision, yeah. Because there's happiness here. They don't want to let that go. So they clear out their confusion. They get into how their emotions are and how they feel about this individual and start giving or start opening up. Yeah, someone's walking in. Someone's walking in to, that's how I look at it. Someone's walking back in to work on things and to try to fix things. Try to fix this situation and make it fair. There we go. Okay, so let's pull some of these cards. Self-reflection. One of you needs to really self-reflect on what's important here, right? It's like you're reevaluating what you're holding on to and what it means to you. Is it really helping you move forward or is it a hindrance? Someone else is really afraid of balance or letting someone in. So they're creating all of these blocks that's not allowing things to come in. But what's happening is the hunger, the drive to want to be with each other is just growing. But the thing is, in order to do that, you have to put an end to fear. You have to put an end to doubting yourself. Or some somebody here with self-reflection is allowing someone to overwork their patience. And what's going to happen is you're going to be super patient for someone and build up a resentment for them. And then just cut them off, period. So it's like spiritually you have to understand that you have to take a break or separate yourself and focus on something else. Not that you're waiting for this person, but you don't want to get yourself full of anger and animosity towards the person. Okay, until this comes to an end and there's some sort of balance where someone uh, expresses themselves about how they feel and trying to figure out how the other person feels and how this is going to work out. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you later. I love you. <laughs> bye bye. Hello Aries, <laughs> welcome to your love story reading for the first half, first half of July. Um, if you notice my hands, I'm sorry, I, co I colored the edges of this deck black and it's bleeding all over my hands. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. So, <laughs> so this is going to be your love energy Aries for the first half of July. Spirit, what do you have for Aries? For their love energy. First half of July. So I feel like something isn't going the way that you want it to, Aries. But the thing is, it's like you're above that. It almost feels like we've been through this before. Um, I've been in this energy before. I kind of don't care. We'll see what happens. That type of thing. Um, the thing is, you're dealing with someone that you really, really want to be with. And I feel like you'll put up with what you need to put up with to deal with them. 
um also some of you who are really really single are trying to bring like true and real love into your life and you're like well i'll do what i gotta do to bring that in okay um i do see that you're feeling really bad or like you need to do something or um play some sort of role or play a part to to help this person make some sort of decision or towards your love life instead of being passive okay so we'll see So we have the Seven of Swords, the Devil, and the Hierophant. Wow, two major arcana out of three. Okay, this is what we're starting with. So this is your page of pentacles and that's your ace of swords, okay? So you're definitely looking for an opportunity uh, for something more. Some of you just want to make a better investment in love or someone has tried to make an investment with you, okay? So it's like you have this opportunity to do things differently or to look at things differently and I feel like that's what you want to do. Um... You almost, I still feel like you feel like you're lying to yourself about the way that you're doing it. And you're like, this isn't going to work. Um, you know, it's kind of like, this isn't going to work. I want to put more action into it. But you're trying to be more clear on what you do and what kind of actions that you take. The person that you're dealing with or your love direction, if you're single, uh, feels like it's full of complications, right? So your love life has a lot of things that it needs to sort through or move out energy-wise until you can find that person. For those of you who are in a relationship with someone, um, there are going to be issues that come up that you're going to have to deal with. But you have to understand that it's about introspection of yourself, like, because I feel like you really, really want to put this effort in or really, really want to make things happen. The problem is, it's. I don't feel like it's you that needs to do anything. I, I just don't feel that. But I feel like you think you do. Because you don't know what's going to happen. So it's kind of like, I want to be the person to push things or make things happen. It's a slow process. This growth process or whatever's happening is slow and you just want to speed it up. You are walking into knowledge and understanding. You're walking into being in more control than you think you know. Um, basically, it's like you're going to find what you need to find out and then you'll be in control in that way. If that makes any sense. So, Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Swords for me, please. Yeah, see, I told you. Aries, you really, really want to give. Um, you want to give, but Spirit's trying to stop you from giving too much or stop you from trying to put a hand in things and kind of let it unfold in its own way. Spirit, please clarify the Devil card for Aries. Devil card for Aries. Yeah, your person really does want to be with you or you do have a soulmate that's coming in. Someone wants to be with you. That energy is connected to you if you're single. But there are some things that need to be cleared up. There are some things that are going to be an issue for right now and that's why things are moving really slow. Spirit, please clarify the hermit for Aries. The hermit for Aries. Yeah, be in control of your emotions right now. Um, yeah, be a, in control of your emotions and be in an understanding that you aren't going to be able to push what you want to come forward quite yet. But the truth will be revealed. Things will become clear. But you have to use reason right now in this in this energy, okay? So Aries, thank you so much for listening. If you want your general reading, it will be out on Wednesday. 
I promise. And and if you need a private reading, links in the description box below, or you can go to that website up there. I love you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hello, Leo. This is your love story for the first half of July. I hope you're doing amazing. Okay, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and your general reading will be out on Wednesday, okay? It will be. If you need a private reading, link's in the description box below, or you can go to this website right up here. So, Spirit, what do you have for Leo? What is their love story for the first half of July, Spirit? For Leo. Ooh, Leo, you're... Walking into some new energy. You have a new sense of understanding. Lots of solar plexus energy. This is really, really good. Because the things that are draining you or the things that are taking that energy out of you um, are being pushed to the wayside. And Spirit's trying to bring something else in to feel that that is more fulfilling. Okay? So thought processes, people situations that were draining you is being let go see and then you're gonna have a brand new heart chakra energy right so you can utilize that to your best benefit for your best life okay so be open to miracles leo soon as you let go what you need to let go of and have a sense of understanding which i feel like you're going to achieve the first half of july you have to let magic miracles things you don't understand in okay you'll definitely understand at least by the end of this time why these things were happening and why you needed to let it go because you're going to feel different you're going to be different okay i almost get this energy like you're getting back to yourself leo okay leo's love story first hand Ooh, eight of cups. Like I said, walking away from something. Ooh, eight of wands. And the tower. Absolutely. Past energy. What is that? Four of wands. Five of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, Leo. You are walking out of a place that had your emotions, had your thoughts, had your feelings. Okay? And you weren't quite sure. So, you're not sure what the future is going to hold for you. But you have to understand that it's better than where you were. Okay, you, you probably don't look at it right that way right now because of the moon being there and, and the confusion or whatever. But you're walking into a better place. You want something that's more fulfilling to you. Uh, you have a, a image of abundance. And the thing is, it is going to come into you in many forms, many forms. Okay, so I feel like not only love, maybe communication with someone that renews your ideas or thoughts about love someone with some integrity comes into your space i don't feel like you're going to be like in a relationship with them right now but i feel like they just enlighten or trigger a, a joyous part of you it could just be yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna leave it at that because that's how i feel but with the two eights you're definitely moving forward you're moving into more of a sense of or a place of power for yourself your heart is open the tower card means that by the end of july you're really going to be knocking down all of those things that kept you like constrained or constrained in love and be more open to the opportunities yeah, you're walking out of a relationship or something that you found stability in. Because you you're not you weren't sure where it was going and you know that you want more. You want something that's more supportive of you emotionally. But what's interesting is you're walking into the 5 of wands, but to me that feels more like change, letting go of conflict 
and being more free to make the decisions that you want to make for your future, okay? So, Spirit, can you clarify the Eight of Cups for me? Eight of Cups. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, my God. Destiny. It's destined for you to leave whatever this was behind, okay? It was destined for you, and everything's going to start opening up. You're going to go through a grieving process. That's why the Five of Cups came up here. Um about getting over your feelings, getting over uh, feeling like you, you've you left something really important behind. That feeling of not paying attention. It's like you're, you're grabbing the bull by the horns and doing what you need to do emotionally for yourself. Yeah, it's, it's bringing in that balance and you're going to have to have patience. It's like the time in between one thing to another, you know. You just have to be strong. Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands. Yeah, all these messages and things that are going to come to you at the beginning of July, um... They're just to help you. Um, they're just to help you. I feel like they carry a lot of weight in your life to help you get through this transition. But I don't feel like you need to jump into anything. It's just to help you transition into the new energy. That's what I'm going to say. I think you need to be with yourself for now. Yeah, two of swords and the judgment. Yeah. So... It's just a wake-up call for you, not for you to move into anything, but to kind of stay where you are for right now, okay? Spirit, please clarify the tower. I definitely feel your heart chakra open up. Look at that. Happiness. Happiness, peacefulness, um, being content. Yeah, that's what it's bringing. It's like you understand now because your heart is now open and you're healing. You're healing. You're gaining some understanding. You're free to choose what you want. You're not connected to this four of wands anymore. You have moved past that. Yeah, you're moving into a new storyline. You're traveling into a new space. Oof, Leo, that's wonderful. Yeah, five of swords. It's to break the monotony of what you were going through. See, it's like this is the messenger that gets you through that. That sense of reasoning, that decision that was probably the best decision you'll ever make, you know? So, Leo, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. And I will see you Wednesday. I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> This is your love story for the first half of July. I hope I'm finding you wonderful. So let's see what's going on in your love energy for the first half of July. If you find something here that you can use, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new, my name is Amber. Hello. If you're returning, thank you for being here and lending your energy to the channel. It all helps. Thank you. If you need a private reading, I do those as well. You can check the description box below, or you can go to this website right up here. I'll be happy to help you, okay? So, Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius in love, first half of July? Sagittarius in love, first half of July, Spirit. What would you like for them to know about their love story? Ooh, confusion. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. Stay or go is what I heard. You're not sure, but you're going to keep trying. You're going to keep trying. And because you have kept trying, mm, I feel like there are going to be some sort of conversation. Either conversations or some sort of understanding um, about what's happening. It's like a revamp of your faith. In this relationship. It's kind of like you've decided this. You've decided this. Sagittarius. First half of July.
Yep. So we have the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Let's see what you're leaving behind. Knight of Wands and what you're walking into. Mmm. Okay. All right. I see it. I got it. I'm feeling it. Okay, Sagittarius. So you're leaving behind this new energy. I feel like uh, you had a sense of direction. Um, it feels to me like you wanted to force something to happen. Right? Like you were trying to make something happen. Yeah. Um, you were trying to communicate your point or get something across to your person or in love. And you decided to just let fate take control because no matter how you tried to push, no matter what you tried to do, you didn't have control over it. But it looks like things are changing. Right? So... You are a little bit confused and conflicted. There may be some arguments in the situation, okay? But I feel like a lot of things, this confusion and this conflict is helping a lot of things come out into the open. I don't know why I feel that way. But um, it's helping you or your partner look at things differently or process things differently. This is a renewal. This is a renewal. So either your person uh, wants to renew or you do. But I feel like um, you're taking more of a practical approach on this relationship. Not letting your emotions uh, get into the situation so much. As much as looking at what's physically there. What's physically happening. Instead of letting your emotion drive you. Okay. And you're moving into expansion. I feel like both of you are now getting on the same page because you're looking at things differently. Or both of you are looking at things differently. But I feel like you're moving in a direction together. Whether this is good or bad, I don't know. But I feel like you have a sense of understanding now. Um, I also feel like there is a bit of expression. Like, either you or they are expressing themselves more. And... No one's judging. It's kind of like, I just want to see where this person's head is at. No one's making a decision. So you're walking into a space where no decision is being really made. It's more of a watching, seeing what happens, being the mediator, paying attention. Okay. Spirit, please clarify the five of wands for me, please. Yeah, you're definitely paying attention, Sagittarius. Trying to change your perspective, a freedom of understanding, because what you have been doing or what you know hasn't really been working. Yeah, it's like you have a new sense of knowledge or a new sense of understanding with the Ace of Swords. You have to leave the old stuff behind. Or what you thought you knew, you're leaving behind and gaining a new perspective in the first half of July. Spirit, please clarify the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. What is the page of pentacles telling us? Yeah, um, it's like a decision to hold on to this. A decision that it's something worth holding on to. Whatever you have in the physical sense of this relationship is something that, that means something to either you or them. It's less about emotion right now and more about holding on to this relationship. Whether good or bad, that's just where your mind is right now. So you're you're deciding to yeah you're deciding to fight for this. Um, there is a bit of defensiveness though. Why is the seven of wands? Why did that seven of wands come out, spirit? Yeah, there's a bit of defensiveness because. Um, mm, because they're giving me two storylines. Yeah. Uh, someone is still doing what they want to do. Or maybe going out with friends or drinking too much. Whatever the problem was, it's still there. But you're trying to have a different mindset about it. And see what happens moving forward. Spirit, please clarify the chariot.
Yeah, you're moving forward with this sense of knowledge of separating yourself emotionally and seeing what's going to happen. This is like waiting to see what's going to happen. Keeping the relationship. Because in your mind, Sagittarius, you want this. So that's where your mindset is right now. But I see you... I don't see any real like action being taken or anything in the future. It's more like uh, putting your emotions to the side and focusing on building what it is that you do have. I don't know if this is good or bad, but this is your love story for the first half of July, okay? So don't forget your reading will be out on Wednesday. I love you so much, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Aquarius. I hope you're amazing. This is going to be your love story for the first half of July. Please, if you find something here that you can use, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more of me as well. <laughs> so we're going to jump right in. Spirit, what do you have for Aquarius? Quest is your first card. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Spirit, what do you have for Aquarius for the beginning or the first half of July when it involves their love life? What would you like for them to know? Aquarius. Aquarius, you might, mm, Aquarius, you might have gotten out of a relationship, okay? Or a relationship has uh, thwarted is the word that comes out, but um, slip through your fingers, let's say that, okay? Um, you're going through a journey of knowing, um, kind of like a, a mental process for you. I feel like thinking about, did you say what you wanted in a relationship did you express yourself the way that you wanted to express yourself or are you expressing yourself the way that you should by a new in a by a new love opportunity um it's more of that kind of thing to me it's like your inner reality of how you want your love life to be are you reflecting that in your words you know in your actions how you communicate uh, whether that be uh Verbally or in inverbally is the word, I think. Okay. Um, so you have to get out of this mentality that people are going to hurt you, you know? It's kind of like whatever situation you were in, you knew that it wasn't good for you. Or it could be now. You know that something isn't good for you. Both of you know that it's not good for you. And it, it's not good to keep that energy alive when you know the truth, right? So... Um, I feel like there's a, a transitional period where you're healing your heart chakra. You're, he you're heal healing your heart space um, regarding this situation. But I see that if your true feelings are coming out about how you feel. Um, and you're seeing the things that are blocking you emotionally or the things that are blocking you from moving forward. I feel like you're starting to see that and you're feeling a little guilty. Like maybe you can fix it or maybe there's something you can do. I, I, I just see like a, a sense of going back over something, whether in your mind or contacting that person. Or that could be them with you. Energy goes both ways, you know, right? So we're going to start off with the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, And the chariot. Mm. Let's see what you're walking away from. Ten of wands. And where are you moving to? Where is Aquarius moving to? Beginning of July. Where is Aquarius moving to? Beginning of July. Where are they moving towards? Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're moving towards an understanding and a knowing. Um, the truth of the matter. You know. So you're thinking about your happiness, Aquarius. Um, this journey that you're going on, you may have felt happy, but it's like, am I truly happy? You know, is this the bliss that I'm looking for? And you're getting on this journey of expressing 
yourself in a way that you can achieve this kind of happiness that you feel like you deserve and love, right? Um, I, I feel like you're trapped in this idea um, of what happened to you or what's going to happen instead of experiencing it fully, whether this be in the past relationship or one that you're in now. Um, and it's interesting because whoever it is that you're thinking about, they're trapped in their own ideas as well. So I feel like both of you are immovable kind of in this situation, but you have a chance to open up and you have a chance to make some changes. And I feel like Aquarius, you're going to try to, you're going to either try to move forward without this person, depending on your situation or towards them to see if you're on the same page. It's like now... Um, you have a, a new understanding, a new will, a new drive, right? So it was conflict before. I feel like it was a heavy situation that you're leaving, okay? Um, it was like a lot of responsibility, a lot of burdens. You may have had a lot of things going on, but there needed to be some sort of transition in the situation, yeah. So there needed to be a separation or a walk away. And it's because you needed to figure out what it is that you wanted in a partnership. What kind of partnership you wanted or deserved or if this was the one for you, right? Um, I almost feel like the person you're dealing with is, is going through that, or was dealing with is going through that same mental energy, which is interesting. But you're walking into the Queen of Swords. This is a better understanding. So that's really good for you, Aquarius. Um, a better understanding of what it is you want and being more of an active enforcer of what it is that you want. You know, cutting out things that don't serve you and uh, saying the things that you do want. You know, it's like being more verbal, I feel like. So, Spirit, clarify the Ten of Cups for Aquarius. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's about the work that you're putting in. Are you getting the recognition or, or are you achieving what you want um, when it comes to love? It, it is about expression and communication, threes are. So it's like you're ending being satisfied with something um, and trying to get more recognition for yourself, you know, for what it is that you want to achieve in love. Yeah, I feel like there was there either is an opportunity coming in or you felt like you lost the opportunity. Uh, but even if you try, Aquarius, I feel like this person is blocked off right now. So the the what it is that you're looking for, I don't think you're going to find with this person. It's like they're not ready to put in the work or it has been set up in a way where... They're just not interested in the past anymore. So it's really time for you to move towards the future. Chariot. Yeah, you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards what it is that you were looking for in a relationship. You walked away from something or something walked away from you. And it was a heavy burden. Whether you wanted it or not, it just wasn't for you. Let's just say it like that. And now... Um, that you're equipped with all this information from what it is that you were dealing with and you have released that information. It's time for you to start a new way of thinking to get you to this two of cups that you want. And I see that being in your future, so that's a good thing. But it's all about your will and your drive, how you get there, okay? Yeah, keep up the momentum of saying what it is that you want, not being afraid. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords goes through a lot. You know, she she sees the truth and she knows what the heck is going on. <laughs> so you know what's going on. You know what you want. You just have to be free to express that early. You know, um, this is not a go with the whim thing. Uh, when you enter into any love situation, this is this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. Is this something that you want to do? How can we work this out type of energy? Okay. So thank you for listening. And your reading, Aquarius, will be out on Thursday. I love you. Bye-bye.
Hello, Gemini. This is your love story for the first half of July. I hope I'm finding you in good spirits. Um, if you find something here that you can use or you enjoy my readings, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need a private reading, the link's in the description box below, or you can go to this website right up there. And your reading will be out Thursday, okay? So look forward to that. That's your general reading. So Spirit, what do you have for Gemini? What is their love story for the beginning of July? Spirit, what is Gemini's love story for the beginning of July? Spirit, Gemini's love story for the beginning of July. Gemini, um, you're getting a deeper understanding of a relationship. So I feel like there's foundations in a relationship or something that you're in, right? Um, but I feel like you had a moment or some time to find yourself and decide what it is that you need. Because I, I feel like you need to know you you needed to know you better or stronger or there's something you need to do needed to do in order to be in a successful relationship or space to receive love in a healthy way and uh and now you know it's time to like work on that so now that you've done that you've gotten the enlightenment that you need and it's like you have a purpose or a sort of drive after you have let go of whatever was going on between you and that person or within your love sector. And I feel like you're happy. Um, you know, like you have a, a, like you're happy about what it is that you have or what it is that you have found. Gemini. Beautiful. So you're coming into the first half of July with some sort of knowledge or understanding. Uh, maybe there was a message said to you that puts you into some sort of action. But I almost feel like it's more of a, a understanding or a way to communicate or reason things differently in your mind about a situation or within love. Okay. Yeah, you were tired of the way things were going. You didn't feel I don't it. I want to say good. <laughs> you just didn't feel good on how things were going and it seemed like no matter what you did it was like you were stuck and you just kept doing that same thing and you kept finding yourself being hurt or not understood and now that you have let something go maybe an idea or a person or a situation now you're ready to offer something more stable going into the future you feel a lot better about what the future holds and I feel like because you have that sense of gratitude or happiness about what's to come there's more um, I don't want to say more communication but there's more movement there's more uh, it's like you're open to 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 more ideas from spirit especially with that being a third eye card um, you're more open to your intuition and how you're feeling how another person is feeling and that type of thing. Um, whoever you're dealing with, they see something with you in the future. They're willing to start from where you come in at. Yeah, they're going to accept any new beginning that you give them. Absolutely. Okay? They will. So you're moving towards the Ten of Pentacles, a more solid home life. I'm telling you, you feel really good about yourself in July. So Spirit, can you clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini? Yeah, you took some time for some introspection because you wanted things to work. 
you want things to work you want to be in a successful relationship but i feel like you needed to spend some time with yourself to find out what that was right you didn't want to drag other people into what it is that you were feeling because you know you care about people and you just don't you know want them to feel bad because you're not in a space to give them what they need yeah your person does feel like you were ignoring them but they'll be happy to accept um, any kind of communication or contact with you. Yeah, they've been trying to balance things out, hoping for a new beginning, very optimistic about what's to come with you. Please clarify the Eight of Wands, Spirit. Yeah, you're about to start a new beginning. There is going to be conversation or talks about a new beginning, but it's bringing in positive energy, positive energy about the future. So all the stuff in the past has ended. Yeah, there's a rebirth coming. This is absolutely beautiful, Gemini. Things are just new and things are just better. Ten of cups on the bottom. Look at that. That's that happiness, joy. So... Yeah, it's a transition into something better for July. Thank you so much for listening. And your general reading will be out on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Hello, Libra. I hope I'm finding you in good spirits as well. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So if you find something here that you can use or you want to see more of my readings, please like, share, or subscribe. And subscribe. Um... I don't know why I just lost my train of thought. I think it's because the air conditioner came off. It came on and threw me off. But anyhow, this is your love story for the beginning of July. So let's see what spirit has for you. Do not forget your general reading is coming out. It will be out on Thursday. If you have any questions about the schedule, just check the description box below. Also, if you need a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. Or you can just go there. To that website right there there's lots of things there for you to look at if you want to okay so spirit what do you have for libra regarding their love life the beginning of july what would you like for libra to know regarding their love life beginning of july we have instinct completion libra I think you know that you need to let something go. You've been uh, doing some spiritual work, right? You have a sense of enlightenment, a sense of understanding um, as far as how love should be or how your love life should go. And you realize that something is fully coming to an end, right? So you're getting your emotions in check in order to do that, right? And I feel like... The place that it had in your life is special and you understand that, but you also know that, you know, you want something different. But at the same time, I do feel like you're scared about the future or what's to come. You're not quite sure um, if you're able to find love again, which is weird for a Libra. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but it's like you're not sure. Some of you may, be may not be sure because you don't know where to go or what to do next when it comes to your money or your stability or something like that. But I feel like you've got it under control. That's more of just a fear that you have, okay? So Spirit, what do you have for Libra at the beginning of July? Libra and love, beginning of July. Ooh, two tens, five in the middle though. Okay, or not. Sorry if you notice all this ink on my hands. I colored the edges of this deck black because I just felt like it would look better and it's coming out all over my hands. So Spirit, what is Libra walking into July with in love? What are they walking into July with? Yep. What are you what are they leaving the beginning of July with? Libras. What are Libras leaving the beginning of July with? Okay. All right, Libra, you definitely put something to an end. You're finalizing something for sure. But but I feel like you have a respect for what it is that you've been through, right? Um, you're not leaving it totally behind and just blanking it out. You, you're leaving it with some sort of understanding. 
So that's really, really good. Um, you're looking for something more secure or, or something more stable. I also see that you may be spending a lot of time with family or you may have family on your mind, like uh, building a family or building a secure unit for yourself. There is a lot of conflict. I feel like uh, a person is having a hard time letting you go. They feel like they need to win or kind of uh, be on top or prove that they are maybe doing better than without you or something like that. Um, but I feel like that's just leaving them all kerbobbled and twisted up. You know, um, it's not really helping them any, but I feel like you're smoothly leaving this situation. Um, yeah, I feel like you're scared that you're not going to find happiness, but I feel like you can. You are, you know, you're ending one thing. It's like you're officially ending the material relationship or the physical relationship. Okay, that's already done. There's a little bit of conflict, uh, getting rid of it emotionally. But with tens, you're on your way there. And then six of pentacles. I feel like you're giving more to yourself, though, with that six of pentacles. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's a sense of nurturing. You know, you're, not, you're only going to give to a love situation that's nurturing to you. I feel like they, I want to say you're tired of nurturing others or making sure others are okay. Um, you need something that's going to nurture you. That's the bottom line. That's the point. That's where you're moving towards. Yeah, you ended this as an investment to yourself. It's kind of like you're making a choice for you and what will be best for you. Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a new drive. I feel like there's a, I don't want to say optimism, but you're very motivated to find something new or go down a different route that's different from this one because this one has just taken you dead end to dead end. There is a sense of stability here, but I don't feel joy and happiness because that's what you're trying to get to, okay? So let's clarify the five of swords. Yeah, your person's having a hard time letting go. They're very defensive. Um, they It's like they want to prove to you that they're okay without you. That they're like on their throne having a good time without you, but they're really struggling. It's like they're seeing... This is a very interesting concept, but it's like they're seeing how much work it takes to deal with themselves. I know that sounds very strange, but that's what it looks like to me. And instead of putting or projecting that energy onto them to, to resolve that issue, they're deflecting that onto you, um, which is not really helpful to them at all. But I feel like you're starting to see that this person is just trying to win at all costs. It has nothing to do with love. It's more about their own mental process that's a little jumbled, okay? So Spirit, clarify the Ten of Cups for Libra. Yeah, this, this wand that you have here, you're taking that with you. And now that you have made that move out um, into the wild unknown, as they say, um, now you are taking that energy and, and putting action behind it you know it's like i am on the road to find the love that i desire the happiness that i desire the bliss to be with someone who understands me i want to be in love yeah i mean that person is still trying to hold on to you there is still a sense of stability with that person, though. It's a bit of a burden, too, because it's like you know that person. You know that situation. So there's a comfort level there. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of burden. You got a lot of things going on, too, to find that happiness. But you have to be willing to give to it 
to nurture yourself. Yeah, it's a new way of thinking. It's a new way of understanding. But it's way more practical for you to do that way. Three of Swords, you just got to let it go, Libra. You got to let it go to find happiness. Because if you stay in this situation and try to heal it, you're basically just overindulging in contentment. You know what I mean? Um, so thank you so much for listening. Uh, don't forget to see your general reading. I will see you for mid-months. I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, Pisces. This is going to be your love story reading for the first half of July. I hope you're doing amazing. <laughs> your general reading is going to be out on Friday still so you be sure to check that out <clears throat> spirit what do you have for pisces when it comes to love what would you like for pisces to know regarding their love life the first half of june spirit pisces first half of june you have faith and patience and renewal Pisces, don't be afraid to open up, okay? Don't be afraid of what's to come. The thing is, you've wanted a real relationship. You've wanted someone to really connect with. And I feel like your prayer is going to be answered. The thing is, you have to leave yourself open to Spirit's timing. Um, and not be afraid to you know it, it's kind of like inside we know exactly what we want and how we picture things to go and it may not go exactly that way but it'll be handed to us in due time the way that it should be okay and then when it does i feel like you'll have a really good grounding of foundation within your love life okay so just keep hope alive keep hope alive pisces yeah the death card told you okay so we have death the queen of swords and the magician what is spirit walking out of june with five of cups and what will they be walking out of the first half of July with spirit eight of pentacles yeah okay so right now your love life is in an upturn okay so you probably um, have already fully let something go and you're just waiting for something else to come in I want to say to take its place, but I don't think that. I just think that you need a renewal in love, right? You have this inner feeling that it's about time for something to happen. Um, there could be someone you think something's going to happen with. It's like you're just waiting on it to happen. You've been hurt so much in the past that you just kind of want to... You want things to come out into the open so you can decide whether or not you can trust it or not you know but it's for you to have faith in in what spirit's going to bring to you pisces whatever lesson it gives you it's still a lesson okay you have everything you need right now um, but you're still trying to use your discernment to cut out things that you that you don't need to, to like protect yourself. But I feel like you're going to be okay. With the magician, I feel like you have everything you need to fulfill this duty. So in the past, you were leaving behind the five of cups. And that's about emotional distress or being lonely or a relationship that was a burden. Feeling like you were never quite together or never there. Um, healing. It's time for that renewal for you. But you're walking into something that you can work on, okay? I feel like it's 
they're bringing you a relationship that you can actually work on. I also feel like it's going to be work for you because you're learning more about yourself. Yeah, especially with the King of Pentacles, it may be an Aries, I mean, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but. I really feel like you have been really set in your life and the way that you've done things while you've been single. And it's going to be work to get you out of that mode. Okay. So Spirit, can you please clarify the death card for Pisces? Yeah, you're ready for happiness. And the thing is, you got to be a little bit realistic, Pisces, because it's like you think it's just going to come in. There's going to be messages of love and then you're going to be happy. OK, but it all takes work and you have to be patient. It's almost like the universe is trying to make sure that you have a... a the right idea about love before it comes out or before it comes to you. Yeah, they're going to leave you in this limbo until you're ready for that, okay? So, Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Swords. It could be that the person you're dealing with isn't sure either, but I really feel like it's you. Yeah, I feel like the person you're dealing with is waiting for the right time to reveal themselves to you or to say what they need to say. But they know that you have been through a lot or either they have been through a lot and they want to take their time coming out because they know that it's going to be a whole new direction. And they don't want you to think that you're... The thing is, there's something about thinking that this person is lying or not trusting them. And they want to make sure that there is trust here before they start something new with you. Yeah, and then that love offer is going to come in. When you see this opportunity come out, I feel like you're going to... It's almost like there's flirting. But you have to be open to it because you've been so hurt in the past. You may see this new opportunity and get excited about it. And I feel like you're going to flirt with this person, but this doesn't feel very official, Pisces. And that's why there needs to be work because you're going to be so set with being by yourself. I don't feel like you have a problem with flirting and having a good time. But when it comes down to actual commitment, that's when you're going to be like, mm. see, yeah, because you have to be the initiator um, of the commitment part. You have to be okay with that. You have to accept that part. And really what you're focused on right now is just the emotional part and not the commitment part. Okay. All right, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you later. I love you. Bye-bye. Hello, Scorpio. This is, your <laughs> this is your love story reading for the first half of July. I hope I find you in good spirits. So, um, <clears throat> please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you find something here or you just want to hear from me again. Also, don't forget your general reading will be out on Friday. Check the schedule below if you need any more information. And then we'll get started. Oh, I do private readings. If you need a private reading, link's in the description box below. Or you can go to that website up there. So Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio for the first half of July? What would you like for Scorpio to know for the first half of July? Oh, wow. Well. Scorpio, the first thing that I heard is life is happening for you, not to you. I believe that's the saying. So 
there are a lot of things happening that you have to face or deal with, especially in your love life. So it's not really going very smoothly per se. There's a little bit of rocky road um, because it's like you need to be faced with your own duality. So if there's something that you have gotten settled in and it's not very healthy for you or the other person, that's going to be brought out into the open so you can deal with it with your partner or within your love life, okay? Um, and it's for it's up to you whether or not you change your mindset, whether or not you pay attention, whether or not you become a part of that change. That'll be up to you, okay? Uh, that's the thing here. If you do not, however, <laughs> and I, I, this is honest truth, however, if you do not, your heart chakra will uh, be affected, okay? If you do not open yourself up, um, it's going to bring this grief energy. It's going to bring sadness. It's going to bring uh, hurt because I don't feel like your partner is going to deal with it. I don't feel like your partner is going to handle it the way that you think they're going to handle it if you don't. If you do, it's still grief because you're sad that you have to leave an old way of thinking or an old way of doing things behind. Okay? All right. So, Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio? I don't know why I can't shuffle these cards. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio for the beginning of July? We have the, yep, Nine of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Okay, what is Scorpio leaving in June or in July? And what are they t leaving with first half of July? Okay. So I feel like you get some sort of acknowledgement um, the thing is, I feel like you're very hot-headed coming into July. Yeah, you. It, it's it's almost like um, you believe what you believe and nothing's going to change your mind. That's this energy, okay? And it's gotten to a point now where it's driving you and it's driving your relationship. It's in the driver's seat of your relationships and of who you are right now. Your own like thinking like how you feel no one can change that this is what i believe it's driving you and because it's a wand i feel like it may be overbearing to others but you're not seeing that it that way with the nine of pentacles okay so like i said before it's creating havoc in your love life this way of thinking or this way of doing things. Um, and it, I feel like you may have a lot of anxiety or being worked up about something. And this is the out or the way that this chooses to get out of your system. Okay. You do need to see that you need to work on things. Um, I almost feel like it, this is bothering your partner. But you're not seeing it. Uh, there is a sense of you needing to work on this. Uh, to make it better you know it's it's like um, needing to be more productive in changing your mindset or realizing that your actions are not supportive to what it is that you are trying to make happen yeah this defensiveness that you have is going to be a problem on your relationship so you need to work on your relationship um, instead of being defensive on this. It's this wand that you're trying to keep up and running, right? This That forcefulness, that hot-headedness. You're trying to bring that in and it's, it's closing off your heart chakra really slowly because I'm seeing this. It's closing it off. Because you're so like adamant that you're right, that this and this and this, you know? Um, and I feel like your partner 
it, it could be affecting your love life in that way. And it also feels like if you have a partner, they just, I want to say like they don't even know you anymore. That's what it said. It's like, this is a part of you that they don't like. This part of you that they don't like is like growing bigger. Okay. Um, so moving forward, I see you, I still see you holding on to this. It's going to take something big. Scorpio for you to see yeah because it's like you think that you're right and it's it's like it's like it's getting worse that's so weird though but it's almost like it's getting worse and you think that you're absolutely right about whatever this is maybe you don't know how to change or you don't know what to look for Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Swords? Yeah, it's time for this to end. It's time for you to start this new cycle. To get to this enlightenment to see. It's so interesting. It's like you feel like you're the expert in whatever this is. Like how you've been doing it has been the right way. You'd rather have everyone else see your way than to change the way that you're doing things. Yeah, it's time for you to get untrapped with the Eight of Swords. That's all about you being trapped in a certain mindset. You're so busy defending yourself that you don't see the Seven and the Moon. And Sevens are about seeking a higher level of education, meaning spirit touching you, making you realize things. It's like time for you to see what this is creating. It's like it's, it's you're mixed up on who's right and who's wrong. But it's not about, you know, left or right or up or down. It's not defined in that way, this energy. It's just sometimes you just know that you need to do better, you know. Sometimes you just know that you should turn left even though something says right. Sometimes you just know. It's that inner knowing, you know? But you're holding on to what you know to be tangible, and that's what you believe with your whole heart, and it's really hard for you to let that go. I see that being a problem in your love life. All right, Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I love you. Blessings on your journey. Hello Cancer, this is your love story reading for the first half of July. I hope I find you in good spirits. Thank you for being here. And if you find something here that you can use or you just want to see more of me, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you need a private reading, I do those as well. The link is in the description box below or you can go to this website right up here. I'll be more than happy to help you. So we'll go ahead and get started. Oh. I forgot your general reading will be out on Friday if you have if you need more information just check the description box below for the schedules okay so spirit what do you have for cancer for the first half of July what would you like for cancer to know for the first half of July spirit Cancer, I feel like you did something to change your destiny, okay? Um, something happened. There was a change, a turn in events. You faced an issue or a problem maybe that you were having or that you felt about something. You decided to kind of take the bull by the horns, if you will, and make something happen. Um, I feel like you left yourself open. Uh... 
It's very interesting because the victim card is about both people knowing that something isn't right. Well, kind of. It's kind of like both of you tried something out or tried to see if something would work. You knew that it wasn't going to be perfect, but yet you're still feeling like this person isn't treating you right. Kind of like you're settling in that role of blaming the other person, but really it's, it's not the other person. And this could be the person that you're dealing with as well. I see this going two different ways with this card. Um, you have to figure out why you keep accepting this person in your space or why you keep it, it, accepting them. That could be for you or it could be this person is just scared to commit. They almost feel like they can't, they can't do it. You know, like they don't have enough to offer or to give and it's gonna fail anyway and that's a part of that victim energy, okay? So let's see what we have. Spirit, what do you have for Cancer, first half of July? Okay, um, what's interesting is I feel like you're coming into July after a split up, probably with this person or a separation, okay? Um, I feel like there's still a sense of happiness left, even though the opportunity for love in this particular relationship was gone. Um, I still feel like you try to see if it was actually done or actually ended it's kind of like you got hurt this is more like hurt not like broken up okay so i feel like there's more hurt in this card and you're coming into july with that and you know it's kind of like well let's see what's here let's see if this still makes me happy um there's no offer though it's just like trying to see if this situation or this person still makes you happy. You know what I heard with this card? There's still no change. So this person's idea of you has not changed. They don't think of you differently. That has not changed. So don't woe is me yourself. Don't try to blame the other person, it hasn't changed. And that's to teach you a lesson. That's to teach you something. That that It's kind of like, you know, like you can't just blow things off or you can't just ignore things. It's to teach you something. So I feel like you get a reply if you talk to this person. Like they acknowledge you as a person, if that makes any sense. But I don't feel like 
it's going to be like a success or an achievement. They're not going to be like, oh, let's start again, you know. <laughs> and you're worried. It's like you're worried that this is finally it. You're worried that you won't be able to keep up with them. You're worried that they'll change their minds or change their idea. You're just worried. Because you're going you're leaving the first half of July. I feel like you're going to get through to this person though. They will eventually change their mind, but you have to be dedicated to this and you have to be dedicated to them or vice versa. This is energy. It can go either way. Spirit, please clarify the nine of cups. Spirit, please clarify the nine of cups. Yeah, you can't get this person out of your head. Um, it's almost like they're another part of you. They also make you face things about yourself that you don't want to face. Um, and it's interesting because <laughs> that makes you feel confused. You're like, why am I not always happy? Why do they make me so mad? Because they, it's like that soulmate energy where they get you to mm, understand things about yourself that, may, that you wouldn't if you were in a content relationship, you know? It's almost like it's their destiny in your life to rile you up. <laughs> but to get change moving in your life. The way you're lucky in this cancer is the person that you're dealing with is kind and they do a lot of introspection on themselves. Um, they're kind and open to the idea. So you come in and out. I don't feel like they fully cut you out. I feel like they listen to you. But at the same time, see, because I, I feel like they give you an answer or they say hi or okay, but they're not acknowledging what you're trying to do. You know, like they don't play the victim with you. So that's the best part about this person. Nine of Swords. Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you really want to move forward, but you're worried. You're worried about what's going to happen. You're just trying to protect yourself. That's what I see. I see you trying to protect yourself. Um, but if you ever wanted to rekindle, I feel like eventually it will be rekindled with the death card. Um, and then... But you have to be really like adamant about dealing with this person. You know, you have to show them that you really want it. They're not going to play around with you if you don't, I'm feeling. So, Cancer, thank you so much for listening to me. I love you. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.